barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button so I'm gonna tell you guys a tip that I use so I don't miss a, a workout day and maybe some of y'all can use it and share it with your friends so if I work out let's say today is Sunday right if I work out Saturday morning and I'm feeling a bit fatigued like I'm I, I, I expressed to you guys early in the week that my body was kind of slowing down and breaking down I was kind of feel like the collateral damage I've worked out every day since I landed from Houston haven't taken a day off and how I how I supplement that is if I work out like yesterday I worked out Saturday at 9 30 right I went to the gym at 8 o'clock and then I did boxing at 9 30 yesterday so what I do is I take a whole 24 hours off so that's uh uh, to Sunday and then I add hopefully another 12 hours which makes it 36 hours and I uh, do my best to work out as close to midnight as I can before the next day ends or whenever you get that you know you get that burst of inspiration you know what I mean <laughs> and uh, so that's kind of what I did today so I, I kind of use this as like a day off spend time with the family and uh, Lincoln and I had the day together today and uh that's kind of, that's not kind of, uh, that's what I do so I can supplement um, the fatigue. And I, I'm going to try and do it again another day this week. But I'll have a day off, a full day off, because matter of fact, it's going to come organic because I'm going to work Wednesday. And then I'm not going to work out again. I'm going to work straight Wednesday. And I got to, and I'm going to Vegas, so. Uh, when I get to Vegas, I believe Thursday, I'm going to work out Thursday night. And that will supplement my 36 hours. But anyways, man, another thing. I just want to say thank you guys. I genuinely appreciate you guys. Um, love y'all. Stay ten toes down. And another thing, I was inspired. Uh, You all right over there? Oh, okay. All right. So, anyways, I thought someone was trying to rob my neighbor or something. I thought someone was trying to rob my neighbor. Shit. <laughs> I ain't got my gun on me. <laughs> Shit. But anyways, man, y'all have a great day. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna work out Thursday night. It was actually, I thought he was hiding on the side of the car, but in actuality, he was talking to the person in the car. You know what I mean? So it's 11 o'clock at night. Anyways, man, have a great night. And I was inspired too. So I, I miss my, every summer, I usually do free haircuts for the kids in my community and I missed it in June, right? And we got the backpack giveaway, at least a hundred backpacks coming uh, coming uh, next month. We're gonna give away a hundred backpacks. So I missed that. So what I wanna do is, uh, if you live in LA, here's what I wanna do. I want to, uh, cause y'all, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I fucking love the Nike outlets and shit like that, right? So what I'm going to do is, uh, um, um, I want to take a kid on the shopping spree. You're probably not going to be there, but hit my, uh, hit my email and hit my, uh, hit my email and hit my DM. I want to, uh, pick a random kid and, uh, I'm going to take them shop, take them school shopping. So I'll buy their stuff while I'm out in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to use that as be a vessel of inspiration. And I want you to live in L.A. So if I can mentor you in any way or help you in any way, I think it'll be, just want to be an asset to my community. And uh, I just want to say I love y'all. So so feel free to hit my DM. 
I'll announce the winner on Wednesday or Wednesday before I leave, Thursday before I leave. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm leaving Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Depends on how I feel. And um, um, I just want to be an inspiration to, to my community. So anyways, man, have a great day. I love you. Have a great night. If you're in Australia, have a great day. <laughs> if you're in the UK, have a great day. And uh, uh, let's keep on being an inspiration, man. And, and like I said, man, start bragging about helping people. You know, we getting, we getting raped through the coals, man. Every day I see on Instagram uh, something bad happening to black people uh, in terms of uh, reputation, in terms of uh, uh, how people perceive us, how the police perceive us, how non-blacks perceive us. Let's start bragging about helping each other. You know, let's make that the new, uh, let's make that the new Gucci. Let's make that the new Louis Vuitton, how we help each other. You know what I mean? Because only way we parad only way we shift that paradigm is if we show positive modeling behavior. You know, I learned so much being a parent. I learned so much about modeling being a parent. Um, watching Kennedy and watching Lincoln, and I realized, you know, uh, uh, I, I listen to Lincoln's vocabulary, and I realized those are words that I use, and those are words that Dre used quite often. And uh, I'm like, man, how you, like, he told me the other day, he says, Daddy, stop being facetious. <laughs> and I laugh my ass off, you know what I mean? And then he says, uh, you know what he said to me? Daddy, don't change the subject. I said, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> so modeling is important, man. Anyways, I love y'all, man. Have a great day. I want to get out this clothes. So barbershop conversation, I appreciate y'all. Have a great day. I love y'all. And uh, so, so I want to do a shopping spree for, uh, for a young black kid. Uh, hit my DM, hit my email. I'll have Lincoln pick the winner. And um, uh, we'll go from there. So, and then Sunday, I'll deliver. Sunday, Monday of next week, I'll deliver it to you. And uh, we'll go from there. So barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.